Okay, here we are, back here at, uh, in the Hampton Bays, and we're under this home right here, and Silvio and his helper are going to install a helical pile. They've already measured and, and chosen the exact spot they need. You can see now uh, Silvio has uh, attached the machine to the helical. It's slowly being screwed into the ground. The helper on the ground, there are two levels attached to the, the drill, and uh, he, the, he keeps indicating to the operator, which is Silvio Ribello, how to uh, adjust the angle so that this uh, helical goes in the ground nice and straight. Uh, where he's putting this helical right now is really soggy soil. I mean, uh, it's really soft. Right now, uh, I'll show you the, I'll show you Smith's Creek in a minute here. Uh, it's high tide, and that because it's high tide, it's uh, this ground is soaking wet. So uh, helicals are definitely the way to go here. And uh, I'm going to lower the camera here a little bit. You'll see that little square on the ground. That's that's a helical pile. And that's a cap that's on top of it that's attached to the helical. And uh, that's already been installed in the ground and reached its proper depth and reached the proper pressure. And eventually there'll be a, uh, a cement cap placed above that, attached to it with uh, rebar. And uh, then eventually the beam will be installed on top of all these helical piles, which will provide the foundation for this home. Now, that helical went in real easy because this is pretty pretty much very s soft soil. And you can see the uh, the helper here is installing uh, a second length, which is uh, looks like a five footer, and uh, it's attached with a, a heavy galvanized bolt, and he'll attach that, and then Silvio will screw it into the ground and then uh, checking the pressure and making sure he reaches the proper pressure that is uh, specified by the architect who drew up the plans. Uh, this area did have a boring test uh, to find out the quality of the soil and the first 11 feet is uh, not suitable for a foundation. That's exactly why the helical piles are being installed. There will be 35 helical piles installed underneath this home. And then those caps will be installed as I spoke about earlier. And then a, a grade beam will be installed the, the entire distance around the home. It's amazing how precise uh, Silvio is with this machine. Uh, now they're getting to making sure it's level. And there he goes, it's screwing into the it's screwing into the ground right now. These helicals and the, the great beam are gonna make uh, a very good foundation here. And uh, this house will never have a problem again because it's anchored to the earth. Whereas this home right next to us is just sitting on top of this same compromising soil that uh, we're standing on right now. As you can see where that helical is going in, that ground is soaking wet because it's high tide right now. And as the tide comes up, so does the water on this ground level. You know, they, it's only take a few seconds for that pile to go into the ground. As you can see here, this homeowner has uh, gone through the expense of having this house raised. All this wood you see here is what they call cribbing. Uh, construction company came in, raised the house, put it on cribbing, and then an excavator comes and excavates the soil out of the way. Then uh, the helical piles get put in. Then the grand beam, get, grade beam gets put in. And then uh, it's built up to the level that the homeowner wants or that the architect insists upon. And uh, it would be a great view from this house when it's all done. Uh, and I'm sure that the neighbors will be doing the same in the near future. If you look across this, can this canal, this is Smith's Creek. If you look across the creek, 
the homes are all up on hills uh, because they, they were built with flooding in mind. These, these homes here were originally just summer homes and they've been here a long time.